into the uh, a challenge we're going to do a challenge um, and the challenge will be um, the ATM challenge and we're going to present this challenge to you uh, right now and then we will uh, show you a little bit of the solution or parts of the solution this is a challenge that will take you a few days to complete if you work method 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 oh I should probably not pron try to pronounce words that I don't know or fully understand. Um, Methodisk. How do you say that in English? Meth me method. Met once again. You shut up. <laughs> I have it here. <laughs> once again. Methodically. Okay, that's the that's the that's that was the word I was looking for. <laughs> um, okay, so. Um, we're actually going to invite uh, our friend Yura in here as well, so we can listen in into this, because he likes programming. So we're just going to get him in here. Uh, so there we go. All right. Um, so, you know, one of the important things in life is, you know, especially when you learn to code, is to work on cert some sort of projects, right? And software is supposed to fix everyday problems and so my my take on this is that you know in order to learn to to code uh, it is not a bad thing to um, uh, to look at everyday solutions and try to think about them as problems or situation that could be solved with software and one of the one of the very common things that we've probably all done at some point in life is to withdraw some money from uh, from an automatic teller machine. Uh, in Swedish, we call them bankomat for uh, I don't know, lack of a better word. And you know, in English, they are called ATMs. And I don't know in in Wales, are they called ATMs? In the cash machine. Okay. Right. Well, so let's let's call this the cash machine uh, challenge then. Right. Somebody's playing some music. I don't know. Is it me? It's probably me. Uh, right. Uh, okay. So uh, one, what we want to do now is to take a look at this problem and then write a solution or like write a piece of software that will um, will allow us to simulate this this um, um, this cash machine or or whatever you want to call it ATM, right? So let's dive into this. One thing that I, I want to emphasize before we dive in actually is that your course documentation is uh, presenting or guiding you through a solution written in Ruby with tests written in RSpec. Now, I will jump a little bit, because I will do a series of talks on this, and I will jump a little bit between a Ruby implementation and actually a JavaScript implementation, solving the same problem. And this is the first time we're going we're gonna to do something like that. And the reason for this is because we want you to see the similarities uh, between solving this problem uh, in two different languages. And that even though there are differences, because, you know, there are two different programming languages, of course, there are things on a conceptual level that are pretty much the same, and we want you to see that. So hopefully you will enjoy that. It will put a little bit of pressure on you, of course, but just stay cool, stay calm. Your task is to solve this in Ruby. Uh, your task is not to write this in JavaScript. Your task, though, is to look at me, watch me solve it uh, in JavaScript, or at least parts of it, and try to tag along on my way of thinking, okay? And draw the connections and see the similarities between the Ruby implementation and the uh, and and the JavaScript implementation. So anyway, uh, the agenda for the talk: there is a, a few slides as usual. Actually, no quote today, uh, but uh, uh, I should have probably had a had a, a picture of this Wolf of Wall Street. You know, the, the, the this movie with Cash is King or whatever. He was very money oriented so I'm probably going to update this slide deck with that but for now we don't have a quote 
I'm going to talk about the objective of the challenge, a little bit of concepts, code examples, demos, and how you can move forward uh, with this. Now, the first thing we're gonna we're gonna talk about is that we cannot jump straight into coding. Okay, guys, we cannot jump straight into coding, even though your course documentation is there. Um, and for those of you who are uh, not have access to that, 